Let's get, get back to like the ice snow mixture that Natasha is watching very closely. It all depends on where you live tonight. It truly does. And you know, leading up to this, uh, we've been talking about, okay, expect to see this transition when you go from freezing rain over to snow. You might flip flop a few times and we have seen nothing but flip flopping over Portland area south. Also consistent freezing rain, especially south of Portland. And we have an ice storm warning in effect for the central Willamette Valley over towards Richfield. Hey, Southwest Washington, you have no problem getting the snow. You've been seeing an abundance of snow, 24 degrees right there in Richfield. You know, I-5 is unrecognizable right now. Uh, I'll just tell you that they're using maybe two lanes each way. It's been a slow going there. Hey, thanks to Cambry for submitting your awesome snow totals picture, almost eight inches there in Woodland. So that is spot on with what we were seeing in our model output when we have been talking about this is how much snow you could see. And we're going to see more of that fall right there across southwestern Washington. It was a fun day for kids. <laughs> I know a couple of kids who really enjoyed it. Well, guess what, kids? If you're in southwest Washington, you get to see more of it. Now, of course, the big question is who's going to see the snow from this point forward versus who's going to see just more ice accumulation? So this is what we're looking at as we go into the early morning hours, about five o'clock in the morning. There is going to be a range. I would not hang your hat on these numbers as exact uh, accumulations. But so far in Portland, we've seen a range anywhere from about a tenth of an inch of ice versus a quarter of an inch of ice. So we could continue to see more of that. But I expect that we'll start to turn things over to snow as soon as we get closer to about midnight or one o'clock. Ice storm warning in effect there for you. Clackamas, Marion, Polk and Yamhill counties that continues until noon tomorrow. More details on what we're expecting in terms of snow totals moving into Saturday morning coming up in just a few minutes.